down with Darren Wilson. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So you're the founder of Wanderlust Productions. Mm -hmm. What made you want to start a production company? Uh, I didn't want to start a production company, actually. Okay. I just, uh, the Lord asked me to make a, a little movie called Finger of God, and uh, I did it not thinking it was going to be anything, and it turned into something quite big. And yeah. so it kind of like, I kind of just fell into it by accident, really, and then just realized this is what I was born to do. Yeah, and I was talking to you a little bit before we started rolling, and you said that you didn't want to be a director at first. Mm -mm. No, I went, so I went to film school at, when I was finished with college. I went to yeah. Regent University. Uh, but I went to go to be a screenwriter. I wanted to write movies. I was always a writer. I still consider myself a writer. It's hard for me to say I'm a director. Mm -hmm. But um, I actually talked my way out of all the directing and producing classes in film school because I'm like, guys, I'm never going to direct a movie. Like, it's pointless, you know? And uh, so, yeah, so I really learned how to tell a story. Um, and that's all I really could bring to the table when the Lord asked me to make movies. But um, yeah, I remember the first. My very first interview was with uh, Bill Johnson, and it took me about five minutes to figure out how to turn on the camera because I, I borrowed it, and so right. I didn't know like even how to use it. Um, and so I was very much a novice when it came to uh, to using cameras and mm -hmm. stuff. But I I did understand story, so that was one, one thing that I had to bring. That's good. Now you've made a handful of movies and television shows. You write a blog. What has been your favorite project? Oh man, favorite project. Well, for my own personal experience, probably the movie Father of Lights mm -hmm. it will always have a real special place in my heart, simply because that's the that's the movie. See, I grow spiritually when I make these movies because they're like year, sometimes year and a half ordeals, and you're just you're constantly being stretched by the Lord. But Father of Lights was the movie that really kind of solidified my friendship with the Father, and before that, it was more like he was more like my boss. Um, or he was more like kind of a distant dad, gotcha. and and um, but with Father of Lights, that's where I kind of I actually understood that he wants to be friends and and not like buddies, but you know like right. a, a true relationship, and that's um, kind of when my faith overtook my doubt, so mm -hmm. to speak, and cool. um, so that's that's kind of like a, a, a watershed kind of project for me. That's cool. Now, when you're not filming, what do you like doing? Uh, I like hanging out with my family. I'm uh, about as introverted as you get, so I'm not a big like go out and, and uh, you know hang out with tons of people guy. But um, I'm a. I, it's funny we were talking about you know the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, and, and my my friends all make fun of me because I'm kind of like a Hobbit. I just I like to be in my little <laughs> Hobbit hole, and I only come out to like go on some big grand adventure that you know Gandalf slash Jesus calls me to. Um, but other than that, yeah, I just I just I like just hanging out with my kids and hanging out with my wife and yeah. And uh, just uh, enjoying life with uh, the f with some close friends and family. Yeah. Now, was there a particular movie or actor or director that really inspired you to become a filmmaker? <clears throat> no, not. I mean, there's obviously directors that I like, yeah. um, but um, actually, the 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 art. It's, it's more like an artist. The artist that I really all have always looked up to creatively is as uh, the band. It's actually a band. Okay. You too. I want to yeah. make. Movies the way you two makes music. So like I have always liked how they wrestle with things, um, and how they the, they'll go places that normal kind of Christian stuff won't go, and just kind of the fearlessness. And so yeah. I try to bring that spirit into into what I'm doing, and just not be afraid to ask the really tough questions and 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 deal with the big elephants in the room that mm -hmm. most people don't like to talk about. Like yeah. it's like let's let's deal with this stuff, you mm -hmm. know. Now, what's your favorite movie of all time? Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings trilogy <laughs> is, uh, that's, that Love takes that. the cake. We try to, as a family, we actually watch the whole thing, the extended editions, um, like once a year. So it's just kind that's of cool. a family thing. Name my second son Strider after, that is so awesome. after the main character. <laughs> You're nerding up. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it was really cool. But um, yeah, so that's, that's uh, all of our, that's our favorite. That's cool. Okay, last question. I have to ask you, what's your guilty pleasure movie? Oh gosh. Okay. Um, I've got quite a few, but um, uh, anything with Jack Black in it will okay. we'll yeah. just will do. Um, but on, like Napoleon Dynamite, I can just watch over and over and over again. It just yeah. makes me laugh so hard. It's so quotable too. It is. Yeah. It's so funny and it's so goofy and it's just like I think that, I think everybody kind of sees a little bit of themselves yeah. in, in that. You know, that's just that kind of awkwardness and stuff. But that, I love those it. are good ones. I like <laughs> it. Okay, thanks for talking to me today. You got it. And thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one, and we'll see you next time.